research methods. All right, so, so far we've discussed the process of conducting research, mentioning words like testing, variables, and data, but we haven't really broken down what the methods are in which psychologists conduct their experiments. And remember, an experiment is defined as a way of conducting research in a controlled way. We will now examine the methods researchers use to gather data and identify the strengths and weaknesses of the methods respectively. Hopefully by the end of it, you will have a more informed opinion when it comes to selecting research methodology for your own experiments. We will break it down over a few videos looking at different methods. Enjoy! Laboratory experiments or lab experiment. Lab experiments are conducted in an artificial setting. In a lab experiment, the researcher aims to control all relevant variables except for one key variable, the independent variable, which is altered to see the effect it has on the dependent variable. So, for example, we want to identify the impact tiredness has on a person's ability to accurately recall a list of words. In this instance, the independent variable will be the level of tiredness of the participant, as we can adjust this by reducing the amount of sleep they have, and the dependent variable will be the number of words accurately recalled, because the number of words recalled depends on how tired the person was. Hopefully that makes sense. Look, at first it can be a little tricky to identify which is which, but check out some experiments and that should help you get your head around it. So what are the strengths and weaknesses of the lab experiment? There are three key areas of strength for the lab experiment. They are the ability to identify a causal relationship between variables establishing if one actually causes a change in the other. The ability to replicate the experiment which is ideal in the retesting of the hypothesis by other researchers. And by controlling variables, the effects of confounding variables, those are external variables which may affect results, are minimized. But what about weaknesses of the laboratory experiment? Are there any? The answer is yes. The three main areas of weakness are as follows. 1. The artificial nature of the study may not measure real-life behaviour, thus lacking ecological validity. 2. Results may be biased as participants may respond in a way in which they believe the researcher would expect. This is known as demand characteristics. 3. Due to the deception often required within laboratory experiments, the ethics of these studies are often questioned.